Hey everybody, I've had the DeepMind 12 for a few months now and it has really grown on me. I, I just find it to be one of those synths that lends itself to want to be programmed. Um, it's, it's so simple yet so complex at the same time. So uh, I'm going to play you some of the sounds I've made and also go through some of the filter options at the end. So here we go.
So the secret weapon of this synth, you have a, a great low pass filter and then you have this, here let me make a default program. And again, I like things big and detuned, so. And let me come out a little bit so you can see. Take the velocity sensitivity down. So now I've got this nice thick saw patch. Now there's your high pass, which is more of a tone adjustment than a, um, a real high pass filter, but it, it can high pass, uh, it, it's just not that powerful. So it's more of an effect on say the low pass filter. And along with this bass boost. So let's modulate it. Let's go in here and modulate it with an LFO. And we gotta give the LFO a uh, some speed. So again, when we play with the low pass filter, You hear the effect of it. So I'm going to take the mod off that for a little bit, turn it back to zero. All right, we're going to add a digital filter and what's great is you can add four of them if you want. So we're going to put a mood filter in there. Oh, look at that, popped right up. Now to make it go through the routing right, you should press uh, insert and that way the signal goes completely through that. You know the difference as opposed to one uh, almost a parallel signal next to it. So there it's going totally through the filter and let's look at that there's four types. So notch, bandpass, high pass, low pass and it defaults to this LFO setting which we can disable by taking depth to zero. Now you can modulate it with how a, a envelope or the wheel or however you want. I like to make the resonance uh, controlled from something like say the mod wheel and we go to filter one uh, Resonance. It's easier to hear with, uh, let's say, uh, low pass. Yeah, okay, so now we have the control of that. So, let's do a high pass sweep. I'm going to set the frequency all, all the way up. And on the mod, I'm going to take envelope three. So envelope three, and I'm going to make it a negative, so like an inverted filter effect. And again, we go to effects one frequency. Oops, I passed it up. There we go. Now, let's mod it. Now the sustain is where you want the filter to end up.
So there, now we have our high pass sweep. And that's that's pretty classic sound, so. And we got a little bit uh, resonance going there. Now, uh, a great trick is you can turn the filters to loop. Uh, you can have them controlled by LFOs or the sequencer, uh, the, the control sequencer, or um, you can loop it. So... And then you can set the depth back in the uh, mod matrix. And all the while you have control of the original filter set. So, anyways, uh, like I said, you can have four of these going. And there's a, a little trick if you hold down... Uh, the effects button you can move the filter down if you want you can move it to any of the other slots and put something before it so it's it it, it does some really cool stuff and uh if you were worried about not being able to do high pass and band pass sweeps don't fret it can do it